seven hours on Lake Michigan. Thank God for autopilots. Thank God for autopilots. Couldn't have been better weather. I think it was actually, don't you think it was really good? You did really good. Your autopilot did really good. <laughs> Hi, we're Mark and Mel. After raising four amazing daughters who are now raising our 12 grandchildren and helping people on land in the real estate business for over 30 years, we're now realizing our goal of a year-long adventure cruising America's Great Loop on our boat, Paradise. This is a 6,000 mile journey through waterways that include the Atlantic and Gulf Intercoastal Waterways, Great Lakes, Canadian Heritage Canals, and inland rivers of America's Midwest cities. Join us as we navigate over 100 locks, explore cities large and small, and experience an unforgettable journey through America's Great Loop. So it's raining all day today, and what I'm realizing, I'm, I am sore all over. My body is sore all over. I tripped last night because we had, you know, put everything in a different spot on the aft deck because we have to kind of secure everything when we're going, you know, especially if you think there's going to be a lot of waves. And so everything was moved, and I, it was my fault. I didn't see where I was going. So, um... I went to move really quick to get something and I fell and grabbed the table and the corner sliced my, like right where my thumb is. But like my, just now I tripped going out to the aft deck. I mean, there, I feel places on my body that I've never felt bruises before. <laughs> I've hit my head on the microwave door that I left open. You can't do that. I've, I raised my head in, underneath a cabinet and hit my head. So there's just like these things you have to get used to when you're in a new, smaller space. So, um, yeah, I feel my body say, but it's a good day. Had a lot of progress yesterday. And now we still need to get our car. We have to go back to North Point Marina and get our car and bring it down. So we're coordinating that, we're coordinating our trip to the next marina, and um, that's what we'll be, be doing today in the rain. So uh, it's okay, and um, yeah, so it's all good. Here we are at the Metra train station, I think. Got to take a train back up to North Point Marina to get our car. Ogilvy Transportation Center. This is the place. I mean, it is raining like crazy on Lake Michigan waves and I'm gonna get out of here by the middle of October and get on the Calumet River so we're looking around we have to get the car up to Ohio still and then we can come back but it is supposed to rain all day today in Hammond Marina so we are just looking at the waves and looking at the ducks and looking at the rain and we've got a Chicago dog so that was good but it wasn't really a Chicago dog because it was a regular dog, hot dog, in Chicago. But then when we went into Indiana, across the border, uh, on the way back here, it then we saw a Chicago, an actual Chicago dog place. <laughs> so go figure. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. Thank you. 
even have a little walking path that looks like it goes all the way around the uh, West Area Complex with signs telling you about stuff, in this case, native plants. And the Buckeye Tree, the State Tree of Ohio. I'm guessing that's one there. Maybe that one as well. Has this been everything you've dreamed it would be so far? <laughs> and then some. And then some. <laughs> you guys, we haven't even started yet. We have just gotten our car, got provisions. This is, this is a big deal. Yeah, this is how windy it is. This, this whole dock here shifted in the past few days it was over there and now the dock is way over here or the the ramp to the dock it slides on that pedal that must be why they have a metal plate there so how does it feel to be carless don't know yet <laughs> well you officially don't, don't need a car for anything we yet. don't <laughs> that's true we don't need one we don't have one both of them are stored so we have the boat and we have our legs and we have bikes and we'll see how else we can get around along the loop but um hopefully we'll get out of here in the next couple of days because it's really nice weather it's really changed dramatically there is admiral mel overseeing our uh, second ever fuel up. We are pumping diesel into both the uh, starboard tank right there and over here this line's going over to the port side tank on the other side. Both flowing. Hopefully we'll be getting, or I think we'll be getting somewhere around uh, 300 gallons of fuel here today. So we will be leaving out of this marina first thing tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. at sunrise uh, with several other looper boats. And so stay tuned and we'll see you next time so you can see how that went when we all locked up together. I think there's about like 16 to 18 boats going to be locking together through the first locks that are opening. So it should be very exciting. <laughs> All right, see you then.